trajectory equation. So we know that the path of the projectile is parabola. By using this trajectory equation, we can prove mathematically the path of the projectile is parabola. So observe here, for example, a particle is thrown from this point. So like this. With an initial velocity u. Right? So let it is x axis and let it is y axis. The trajectory equation gives the relation between x and y in projectile motion. Right? So for example, we know that the components of initial velocity with respect to the x-axis is u cos theta and with respect to the y-axis is u sin theta. So this is u cos theta almost it is a constant. It's an uniform velocity. So why because here it is uh, towards the x-axis therefore acceleration a x is 0. Right? So now if particle reaches is that it is x, so then this point can be denoted by x comma y, right? First we calculate what is x value here. So x is equal, the distance is equal, speed into time. So Rs equal ut plus half a d square. Here u is nothing but u cos theta at time t. t here we are taking it as t only, right? So acceleration is 0 that half a t square part becomes 0 with respect to the x axis. By using this you can write t is equal x by u cos theta. Right? Now come to the y. The displacement with respect to the y axis that is y. So you can say it as again u t plus half a t square. So you can write this as ui and this is a1. What is ui? That is initial velocity component with respect to y-axis. You know that that is u sin theta. Right? What is t? We got t as x by u cos theta substitute here. x by u cos theta plus 1 by 2 into. So with respect to y, so here the a acts in downwards. Therefore, we can take ay as minus z, right? So again, t square, t is equal to x by u cos theta. t square is what? x square by u square cos square theta. Clear? Now, y is equal to u and u gets cancelled. x sine by cos gives tan theta minus, plus of minus, minus, g x square by 2 u square this is 1 by cos square theta the 1 by cos square theta is nothing but secant square theta clear now you can write y as x tan theta minus g x square by 2 u square what is secant square in terms of tans right very good so secant square is nothing but 1 plus tan square theta, right? So this is y equation. So we got relation between y and x. This gives the trajectory equation, right? The trajectory is, equation is nothing but the path of the projectile. So observe this equation. This is x square is equal to y form. x square equal to y form gives parabola. Therefore, this equation represents a parabola. Therefore, path of the projectile represents parabolic right so one more observation here for one value of y for one value of y you get two values of x because why because if you know y substitute here then automatically it is x square x and constant equation x square x constant gives a quadratic for a quadratic equation we get maximum two values therefore for one value of y we get two values of x this is also important point so in projectile motion, right? So this is very, very useful equation, students. So keep watching Max Guru.
YouTube channel. Here you can watch maths as well as physics video lessons which are useful for IIT, JE as well as NEET. Thank you very much.